What is up everybody? I've got an awesome package here that I will show you. <clears throat> this is to make the EX30 complete. So here's some instructions. Wow. Oh man, this is so awesome. Look at this. It fits so nicely in this box. You can't even... Ooh, I have to take out everything all at once. Ooh. That looks so nice. All right. Here's the back side. It's funny because this looks so thin, but the EX30 looks so big and massive. Here's the seat. Oh wow, that is very squishy. That is going to be super comfortable. Super comfortable. This is a very firm, firm TPU. And this is very squishy. This is going to be very nice. So I got the standard, the regular uh, front, and then I also got it uh, with the light for optional night rides. I wanted to see how this looks uh, in the dark, and I'll be doing a night ride uh, later this week where I'm going to test this out and show the difference between this and the stock light on the EX30, so stay tuned for that. And then here is the rear light. So this, you can swap it out for this, and then the rear light, you swap it out for this. So you should be able, whoa, just turn that on. It's pretty nice. Do I dare turn this one on? <laughs> this is very bright. I can't wait to test this out at night. What else do we got in here? Looks like we've got four side plates for the battery compartment. We've got the side panels pre-velcroed. This is aluminum paneling. Other stuff you get in here, you get lots of screws. A USB charger, that's awesome. More Loctite, some screws and a screwdriver, or it's a screwdriver, but it's a, a hex, hex head. And a little extension cable. And then this looks like the boxes for the USB lights. So there's your charging cable. And if I wanted to put these on something else, here's the clamps I have for that. This is super cool. I'm super excited about this. So you've got your rear light. And then this is the front light. Man, this is cool. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> and it's still less pieces than the Grizzly system. All right, so this is everything kind of laid out. We've got the side plates for your power pads. We've got hardware. We've got your corner plates. USB charger and extension cord if you get the light system I assume that these will not come if you don't order the lights then you've got your rear seat and front and then this and of course the accessories to the lights if you get those so charging cables and mounting hardware in here 
Now it's time to do the install. This should complement my master pretty well. So time to get out that bad boy and take off these pads, if you want to call them that. I've just got them attached with bungee cords, so they're not even on. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is take off your pedals so you can remove the old stock bearing, stock pads, I should say. Not much of a fairing system. I've got about 150 miles riding with the stock pads and it's not horrible. There's not much to grab onto here though. So it's definitely not the... I feel like I can't grab the power that the EX30 can offer. Alright, so now with that off, I'm going to unhook my temporary mode of connecting these pads. My bungee cords. And that will just come off. It's very dirty with all the uh, rides I've gone on it. Alright, so I've got it all cleaned up. I'm using the headlight that came in the box to kind of shine some light on this wheel so you can actually see it. And uh, right now I'm just going to attach this stuff and see what I'm dealing with. Just kind of get an idea of where things are going to be attached. That's going to go right there. That's going to go right there. And then this goes on top. Ta-da! Done. Fastest install ever. <laughs> oh yes, and I forgot. We need the plates. So that's going to go right there to hold it all together. So looking at this and all the holes, looks like these smaller holes are used to hold on to the side plate. We've got your battery bolts right here, these three that I'll have to pull out and install. We've got three screws up here, and then one right there. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts that will be attaching the front and aft to the actual chassis of the wheel. And then we've got one, two, three, four connecting the seat to this. So we have our little instructions to tell you what goes where. So these say, these go into the bumper side screws, don't torque too hard, pay attention to how the bumper is compressing. So with these TPU prints and these, you know, softer material prints, these need to be snug, but there's not going to be a designated hard stop as you're twisting these. So you want to pay attention to that or else you'll just crush the plastic. We've got our side panel screws right here. And then for the lower corners and side plates, that's what the globs are for. These guys. Alright, so let's just start unscrewing some stuff. I'm going to have to take this off. So we've got to do, undo this one and I think that one right there. So this is the stock and then this is the new hardware that's 
gonna be on it, so it's a little bit longer. The stock hardware is a number four millimeter, and this is a number three millimeter. Okay, I've got those four off now, so I should be able to snap this on. So if you want to take this off, you just undo these screws in the front. And then you've got the ones in here. So once you've got that piece off, then you'll attach this on. Two screws up front and then two in the back. And uh, as you can imagine, this light gets pretty hot, but I don't know if you can see, but there's some air channels in here. And then here, is the exhaust. So as you're riding, air is getting forced into these and it helps cool the light down. So if I blow through this hole, you can hear it come out. Pretty cool. I was worried about this heating up, but it seems like that's been well taken care of. All right, so I've got the light system attached. Just put in the two in the front, and I made an executive decision and decided to not attach the two in the back, otherwise I'd have to take this whole thing off in order to swap this out. And for now, I'm just going to leave the front ones accessible so I can just hot swap this without having to take off the entire fairing, front fairing. Let's do this. And the instructions say, pay attention to how the bumper is compressed. So I'm feeling some resistance now. So I'll probably just go another little bit. And this does not wiggle out, so that one's fully seated. And uh, I guess you could also be using the Loctite. That's what you probably should do. So this is just starting to engage the TPU. You can see it's pulling it flush with the battery pack, and so that one should be good. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, we've got the front on. Now we need to do the back side. So let's see what needs to be removed. So it looks like these top three screws and then the front and back of these. So all of these need to be removed. And then these two need to be removed. All right, I've got all the screws taken off. I'm just going to slide this over and use the extra long screws provided and start screwing these in. And again with these, you don't want to go too tight. As soon as you start feeling some resistance, you want to stop. So I watched this little video on how you're actually supposed to use these, and there's some like special way you're supposed to do this where you're just wrapping your finger around and around and you don't have to do any wrist movements. I wish I knew that trick right now. Of course you could use some power tools as well just to get it a majority of the way there and then finish it off without using power tools. Now it's time for the seat. This is pretty straightforward. There are some screw holes right here. Just gonna get this one started so I can see where it's poking out. All 
Alright, so it is supposed to go at a pretty decent angle. Alright, so I've got all my screws in. They're all nice and snug. I've got the seat installed. I've got the headlight installed. I'm not going to install the tail light just yet, but essentially you just take these off and swap it out with this guy. Looks like there are triangles here so that it only goes in one direction so you're not confused as to which way it needs to go. And uh, I already installed the side panel on this side just because I wanted to see how it would work. And uh, so I'm going to show you how I attached that. Okay, so I've got my side plate here. Looks amazing. So it's attached up here and I didn't want the bottom kind of flapping around. So what I did with the other side was I got some double-sided sticky tape and applied it in some vertical strips on the side of the plate. Now I've heard lots of people complain how Velcro and tape doesn't really stick to the battery boxes because of all the ridges on it. So I'm not expecting this to stay very well but I didn't want to use the E6000 adhesive that was provided because I want to be able to remove this on or off and I feel like that adhesive will do a great job at keeping it on but again I want to be able to take this off for cleaning and maintenance so I'm just using the sticky tape for now if you're the kind of person who just wants to slap this on and never take it off again then use the E6000. You're supposed to use a small, you know, inch and a half diameter circle or glob in one place on each battery box and then you smash that side plate on and let it sit for 24 hours and it'll take about 72 hours to fully cure and harden. So again, I'm just using the tape as a temporary means of holding it and time will tell if it actually holds. All right, so I've just got three screws in here right now just to give me something to align to and kind of hold this in place. This looks so, so good. All right, now that that's there, I'm just gonna apply some pressure where the tape is. And I believe that wraps it up. So we've got it all installed. Got the headlight, boom, super bright. Got the seat on there, nice and squishy. Got a nice and on the back, it's a little on the wobbly side. I'm sure it'll hold just fine if you try to lift it. I'm gonna see if I can still use the handle back here, just cause that's what I'm used to lifting with. Uh, same with right here. If you don't have the light installed, there's a nice grab point right here so this is the non-light version if you want to grab it there's a nice nice handhold right there whereas this you can't really grab it you're just gonna have to grab this right here so i've decided that i'm not going to install these on the corners uh, i kind of want to do a red and blue and I don't like seeing all these lines. So I'm going to not install those, but how you're supposed to install these is essentially just put a glob of this on it. You press it on and then secure it somehow and let it sit overnight. So I think I'm done for now with the Clark pad set up. It did not take very long, but that's pretty much it. Just one 
two, three, four, five pieces. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Got to see this in more detail. And uh, hope you get one. I like the looks of this a lot better than the Grizzla. That's just my personal opinion. And it was very easy to install.